Hi, let the people see you, little cutie. This video is all about my big papa. Look at my big boy. Y'all see my big puppy? That's why I said this man is nowhere. What do you have? Trash? Oh my gosh. <laughs> this boy is nowhere near a mini. You're not a mini at all. Hey guys, hey, so it is me and Noodle and we are here for his six, okay. We're here for his six month up pup date. So let's get this started. He wanted his toy. You got your toy, baby? All right, so let's address the elephant in the room. First, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. But my puppy is almost seven months, honestly, but he's like three weeks into his six month hold and a lot has changed a lot has gotten easier a lot has gotten a little more hey 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 can you just stay on camera for a little bit he's hard to keep occupied still to this day he wants to be the boss <laughs> so what are you doing okay go chew all right so he's over there entertaining himself but some things that you guys probably obviously saw about him is he is not so many Come here, let them see you. Come here, look at this big boy. So he's about six, right, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh no, hey, calm down. Um, So he's about six months and 25 pounds. So when we went to the doctor at, before his six months, she's estimating him to be 50. So my mini golden doodle is more of a medium. <laughs> So that's probably like the biggest shock that we've had since getting him is just his size because my mom has always preferred, sorry, I'm just gonna get my notes, but my mom has always preferred little dogs. So this is her first big dog. I don't mind that he's big though. I'm petting him right here. <laughs> that's what I'm doing. I don't mind that he's big though because I don't trip over him. My old dog was like 10 to 12 pounds and we used to trip over him like he like it was crazy. And I would be accidentally kicking him because he was just at your feet all the time. But yeah, that's probably like the biggest surprise that we've had. He's not, so, you, where are you going now? So his teething has finally come to a subtle end for the most part. Um, You, you want me to throw it? So he lost all his teeth by the time he turned six months, all his teeth were gone. I will say teething was, it wasn't the most miserable thing, but teething definitely affected his moods. So it did involve a lot of crate time for when he would get worked up because when they're in so much pain, like they can't they can't do anything about it. So he gets fresh he was getting frustrated easily. So that's all I can say when it came to his teething. But he lost his teeth pretty quick. I'd say it was done in about less than a month, maybe two to three weeks. And it happened fast. Like it started with his front teeth. I started noticing blood on his toys and I said, oh man, it's beginning. So it started with his front teeth. Then the molars started coming out. I actually have his teeth still. <laughs> Cause what good dog mom throws away their puppy's teeth. So yeah, I still have his teeth, um, but he was a pretty calm teether. So teething toys, this right here saved lives. Okay, no dog. <laughs> But yeah, this teething toy changed lives um, because like it was hard for us to find something that he liked to chew. He has a bit of bone. He likes the bit of bone now more that he um, has his big boy teeth. But before he couldn't really do much damage to his bit of bone. So that is one thing that I've noticed. But ever since the teething has stopped, the biting has calmed down completely he still mouths just because i think he's trying to get out of that habit so like when you're petting him and rubbing him he still wants to like <laughs> but we either distract him with a toy or i he knows so we taught him nice boy and nice boy means to close your mouth and to be nice and to like calm down so whenever i see him doing that i just remind him nice boy and he'll try to close his mouth or he'll try to grab something that he can chew on if he really has to chew but the teething, 
is over. And that's probably one of the best parts about six months. He still has a pretty moderate chew though. My mom thinks maybe his molars are still coming through a bit, but he's not as moody as he used to be. He's, when he's moody, it mostly means he's going through a growth spurt. Hey guys, so I am at PetSmart getting some stuff for puppy. And I just wanted to show you guys the chews that I was telling you that he loves. So this one right here is his favorite. Sorry, there's a dog hospital. This one in the middle is his favorite. He also loves those. So we're gonna get him one of these. It's a little expensive though, but this one lasts longer than this one because it's a lot bigger as you see. So we're gonna get this one. So let's talk about food. One thing that has changed is we're not using the same food that he has since he was a puppy. Um, he eats royal, he was eating royal canine when he came to us since he was born and royal canine eventually made his tummy very sensitive and they warn you about this if you don't switch up your dog's food enough they can grow an allergy to a specific food if they have it too much just because their food is like their belly still growing their immune system still growing you better leave my cords alone come sit come sit um but yeah he definitely grew a tummy issue <laughs> Y'all just getting all booty from him right now. And so when he had that stomach issue, he was having diarrhea. He was getting the runs and it was frustrating because he's basically potty trained. So when we noticed that he wasn't sleeping through the night anymore, we were like, okay, something's wrong. So we took him to the doctor. The doctor put him on some probiotics. We switched him then to a white rice and chicken diet until his bowels went back to normal. And then we also experimented with putting pumpkin in his food because pumpkin calmed tummies, especially puppy tummies. Um, but eventually, our, we just started him back on dry food again because the doctor did say even though like the wet food is fine if you want to do that. Also with wet food, um, what are you doing? <laughs> With wet food, um, they have to get vitamins and certain vitamins are included in their kibble. So he would have had to do supplements. What's, okay, so now he takes Hill's Digestive um, Health. So that was prescribed by his doctor and he's been on that for about a week now. And I think he's doing pretty good. So, hi. Hi, you little stinker. I I'm keeping eyes on him. So if you guys think I'm distracted, it's not. You literally have a whole puppy right here and he still likes to get into mischief. So the next thing that I have, come here, buddy. So one thing that I will say that has stayed with his um, tummy, he still loves his Kong toys. We got this big old Kong toy. Let me show you guys. So he has this big old Kong toy that we got from our trainer. And you basically sit, sit. He sees me messing with it. And basically you can add treats to it. Noodle, stop being mischievous. You can add treats to it. Sit. You can add treats to it and it's gonna keep them entertained. That way you don't have to chase them or play fetch with them all the time. Cause this, like I said, his breed loves to play. So this, he'll just try to get through this little hole and it keeps him occupied forever. So this is a food toy hack, okay? Go play. So let's get into his grooming. He gets groomed every four weeks now. We have we started him grooming around January. Was his first haircut, I wanna say. But yeah, he got his first haircut in January. We started with the six weeks to see how quickly his hair grew and we realized six weeks was not fast enough because his face gets so furry. It starts to cover his eyes and he can't see. So now he gets groomed every four weeks and he loves his groomer so the groomer that we have comes here i cannot stress if you can find an at-home groomer do it just do it because it's going to it's going to save your puppy anxiety um noodle hasn't really been noodle doesn't like go in his crate at other places and he's never been left from us like he's always been around us since the day we got him so the idea of taking him to a groomer him sitting in a crate away from me honestly scared me just because i didn't know what kind of thoughts he was having so the at-home groomer is just better for not only his mental but for my mental because i know he's okay he's not in a new environment because he's still he's never been to anybody else's house so with grooming i will say them being prone to ear infections is true 
My puppy had his first ear infection and it's our fault because we were slacking on his ear cleaning. He had to clean their ears once a week. Um, so ever since he got that ear infection, now we know how to clean his ears like a champ. So that was one, I guess, one type of benefit from it, but make sure that you are cleaning their ears um, and teeth brushing is starting. So training. <laughs> Training is still happening. Training is hard, but it's necessary. And I will say he is getting calmer. Thank the Lord. So we started him. Go play. Go play. Go play. We started him off with um, Baxter and Bella. That was an online training service that we were using. And I'd say for like those first few weeks with my new puppy. Sorry if my shot's all over the place. My dog keeps hitting it. So there's that. But... For a new puppy, I did enjoy that training service, but the bigger he gets, you know, and with six months comes that teenagehood where they just start testing everything. He's not a puppy anymore. He's more of an adolescent. So he acts like a jerk sometimes. <laughs> He's bossy. He doesn't like being told. And I definitely noticed that more last month, less this month, Last month, he was being very defiant. Any um, any command that I would try, he wanted to test me on it. Um, but it has calmed ever since we got our new trainer. So the new training service that we're using is also an at-home service. Somebody who could come to the house and help us one-on-one. -on -one. It's called Bark Busters. And Bark Busters ideology is basically teaching you how to be pack leader over your dog. So if you guys ever hear me going like, bah! That's something that we've been learning from them. And basically, it's just supposed to like give them a warning sign because if his mom was here, his mom would growl at him when he's in trouble. So what the boss do, it just stops him. It tells him you're testing it, you're doing too much, and you need to calm down before I get the spray bottle, as you guys see right there. So we also use a spray bottle now. A spray bottle is only for when he gets in trouble, trouble, and I need to get him out of the room, or if he's testing his boundaries too much, or if he's on my nephew. And also, since we started this training with the pack leader stuff, we're able to create boundaries better. So he does not act a fool in the kitchen as much because the counter surfing was real. Like when they said that they counter surf when they're at this weight. So if you have a mini, like a true mini, who's like not gonna be more than like 30 pounds, you might not have to worry about this. But this man is tall and he can reach the countertops. So we had to set those boundaries where he doesn't get on the countertops. We also had to teach him not to hop up on furniture. So I'd say he has learned those boundaries finally. He still tests the kitchen, but you know, there's food in the kitchen. So obviously he's gonna be tempted by the kitchen. So I'd say his training is getting easier and easier with time. And his age definitely makes training a bit easier because he's a lot calmer. He listens better. Um, brilliant. He's so smart, it's ridiculous. He can learn a new trick within a day, within a day. Like I can teach him to do stuff within a day if he's motivated to. Um, we don't do as many training tricks as possible, but he still knows sit, he, he knows down, he knows belly so he can get a belly rub. Um, so he'll roll over because he doesn't like the word roll over because I taught him that wrong. <laughs> so I had to get rid of that command completely and turn it into belly. And that's one thing I will say. Um, with, if you're trying to teach them how to do a behavior, introduce the action first and then give it the word. Once he's mastered the action, then start saying the word. I learned that from our original trainer um, because it makes it less confusing for them. Let's show them your tricks. Up, get up, sit. Hey, yo, wait, down, down. Up, yeah. <laughs> He's like, no, you're gonna run my belly, mama. <laughs> so I just wanna go over two more tips. So one thing that has changed with age is his behavior. So he's gotten a lot calmer, which means the cuddles are getting good. So he loves to cuddle. He loves snuggling up with you. He likes it when I'm on the floor with him because he'll just come and like nudge himself. Like you saw that little flip that he did for his belly rub. Does that all the time. Um, he also loves couch time every once in a while. And he loves to give hugs. He loves hugs. Stop it. We're almost done and we'll go for a walk. Um, he does, And like I said, he doesn't jump on my nephew as much and he does have less zoomies. But... <laughs> If he's ticked off, then the zoomies come. And also, if you're not playing with him enough, the zoomies will come. Like yesterday was a rainy day. So he was all over the place, low key. 
but he couldn't get too muddy because if you guys haven't noticed, he has a lot of fur and he used a paint in the behind to dry off. A complete paint. Hey, sleepyhead. You gonna come out and play? Come here, boy. <laughs> you knocked out, honey. <laughs> so his dog anxiety, still there. Um, his breed is just prone to anxiety. Um, it comes and it goes. Some days it's bad, some days it's good. When he was sick, it was it was bad. <laughs> he had to see you. He wanted he wanted to be around you. If you left the room, he wasn't having it. Um, he still gets mad when I leave, <laughs> especially in the basement. He could be hanging out with my mom, and I could walk out of my room, and he goes crazy. Um, he likes to be covered in the basement, but upstairs in his crate, he has to peek at somebody. He has to know somebody's with him. It's just comforting to him. Um, but his breed is meant to be around somebody all day, every day. So it's like you can't get mad that he's upset that he's just feeling how he's supposed to feel. That's how you're supposed to feel, Papa. And I have a bunch of little nicknames for him. I call him Papa. I call him Pup Pup. I call him Noodle Caboodle. I call him Caboodle. I call him my little snuggle wugga pugga dugga dugga. <laughs> I just call him however cute he's he's making me feel because he's just such a look he's just giving y'all all booty today but he's such a sweetie <laughs> so the last tip that i will say is just remember even though your puppy's a handful now it gets easier with time um they get cuter with time especially this breed the older he gets the cuter his face gets um now that his face has matured into more of an adult look he has the little um, golden doodle signature look, so he's adorable. Show him that cute little face. Show him that cute little face. Y'all see that cute little doodle? My little doodle woodle poodle. But yeah, he gets cuter with time and it makes everything better. He's so sweet, very loving, very affectionate. Um, a funny dog. He's very expressive. Oh my gosh, he's so expressive. He's so expressive, he knows words. He knows the word eat. I was making sure he didn't like, cause if I say that word a little bit closer to lunchtime, he'll go crazy. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to tell you guys about him. He's just, he, like I told my mom, ever since we got him, because when my last dog passed, I didn't realize how calming having a dog was for people with anxiety until my dog passed away. And ever since we got a noodle, um, he's just made my life better, honestly. He's made me happier, even though he gets on my, my last everlasting nerves sometimes. He always makes me smile within five minutes afterwards. <laughs> so it makes it worth it. Like these moments right here are worth it. The moments when he's just sitting on me, laying up with me, watching TV, and just chewing and minding his business. <laughs> These moments are so worth it. Um, I will say, you need, if you're getting, like if he, you notice your dog starting to grow bigger than what you expected, just start getting on that training as soon as possible. Um, teach him how to be calm as much as you can because puppies have crazy energy, but I promise you the energy somewhat wears off. People keep telling me the puppy energy doesn't go away, but I think what they mean is even though the, about the energy that they have doesn't go away. The self-control grows. So he doesn't act a fool as much, even though he's just as hyper as he used to be. He just knows how to calm himself down. He knows when I'm frustrated that he needs to calm down. He knows when he's doing too much and he knows when he's in trouble. He still loves to rip up paper. Yeah, you loves to rip up paper. He loves socks. I will not understand his fascination with feet. Um, his shedding is stopped. Thank you, Jesus. Ever since, I mean, he has like light shed, but it's nothing like when we first got him as a baby. He sheds just a little bit now. He's definitely hypoallergenic. He does not upset my allergies because I do have pet dander allergies. So that like, I'm allergic to cats that aren't hypoallergenic. Any dog or animal that's just really furry that does not have hypoallergenic, I be sneezing. <laughs> but yeah, that is it for my little doodle. Is there anything that I forgot, baby? Um, And walking. Oh yeah, let's talk about walking real quick. So his leash training is getting somewhat eh. 
our trainer is gonna help us with that but the bigger he gets the harder it is i'm not gonna lie to you leash training is a work in process do it when they are calm if you can um and then he all like if i know that he needs to go outside but he's amped up We'll just go to the backyard he can play it out he can run around and that way he's not learning that he gets to act a fool and go for a walk he learned so yeah i think that's everything about my little noodle boodle who's almost like i think in two weeks he'll be seven months so he i literally been pushing this video off just because it's been a lot um mentally going on like just a lot these past few months you have to say bye to the people that you can get up so i will catch you guys in my next video make sure you like comment share subscribe noodle noodle boy <laughs> sit give me your paw hello there <laughs> good boy all right, y'all. I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Say bye, my little snuggle. I love you.